today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly wash a dog. So this is my dog. This is Franklin. Say hello, Frank. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I've already got diluted conditioner here. And then I've also got diluted shampoo. So you can use straight stuff. I'm using diluted. It's just better for them. Now, with this, he is a very relaxed dog. So he has just a relaxed collar, just something to connect him inside the bath. If you are doing this at home, it's best to have um, someone else there to hold them or to connect them to something just to make them feel more secure as well. So this bath is adjustable. It is a professional grooming bath. Most people will not have that if you are doing this at home, but you can just get um, like a sink, make sure someone's around, even just get this, tie it to like the um, tap or something like that, or just install a little hook that you can connect something to. They just need to, the dog just needs to feel secured. If they don't feel secured, they're gonna jump up, they're gonna try and get out, they need to be like reassured. Hey, Franklin. So, get the hose and you wanna thoroughly saturate this. Okay, buddy. So just thoroughly saturate this. I've pre-warmed the water already, so it is fine. I just get the hose on before I start filming. So, the water is not cold. You want to make sure it's a nice temperature for them so they're actually enjoying it. You want to avoid getting in the nose and in the air hole. So as you can see, his ears are down while I water them. And as I'm doing the face, his face is tilted up. But another way is if you tilt the face down, you can actually water them and they're not going to get it straight in their nose as well. You want to make sure you're absolutely... <laughs> so absolutely soaking everything, including the little pretty hole everything you give them like the So I find as well, putting him like that is great from this far apart, or you can go right up against, and that's going to help a lot with getting a lot of the subs gone. You can tell that all of the soap is gone once you see underneath them, and all the water is not running off soapy. So I'm just clearing the bottom as it's all soapy now. pushing him back every time just because getting a bit close to the edge and it's just going to make me wet. So just shaking the water out of his ears, squeezing it out, squeezing that from down here as well. Now he's a clean dog and the water was running clear. If the water is running dirty 
or you're not sure, you can wash them twice. I'm only going to wash them once just because I know he's clean. He had a wash last week. He hasn't been particularly dirty. I'm just doing this video for this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to condition his coat. Now, you don't have to condition his coat. You don't have to condition your dog's coat at all. I just find that it's quite nice because we're not giving him a haircut today. We are just kind of giving him a clean and making him smell good. So I find the condition is really nice, makes his coat really nice and luscious, but it is not necessary for your dog to be conditioned if you don't want it to be. It's not gonna make them any cleaner, it's just gonna make them nice and soft and shiny. So again, just like how I was washing before, I'm just dousing him all in conditioner. You can alternatively put on your hand like that because it is a thicker material and just kind of move it all around like so. But this is pre-diluted, or if you're just buying all the bottles in a supermarket, it will be pre-diluted. This is just concentrated stuff as it is in a big container. So you've got to dilute that. Sometimes with the littler dogs as well, it is easier to put the shampoo or conditioner in your hands just to disperse it like that because they have such little limbs. Once you've got the conditioner on, depending on the conditioner, sometimes you've got to wait about five or so minutes and just make sure the room is nice and warm that your dog is waiting in and so they're not going to get upset. Now, all shampoos and conditioners are going to hurt your dog's eyes, even though they say that they are tear free. You've got to imagine if you put any type of shampoo in your eye, you are going to be upset. So just make sure that you're staying clear of putting it in the eye. If you do get it in the eye, sometimes it does happen, just literally rinse it out. And then you and this is when you can do silly little things <laughs> while you wait for the condition dog's work. Got a little dinosaur here. Thanks, Franklin, for being my little model today. Little mohawk. <laughs> you said you're good. Mm, good boy. After that's been sitting, you want to rinse. Out. I start with rinsing my hands just so I haven't got the residue all over my hands so I can feel the coat better to make sure that I actually have no more of that residue left on there. I'm just rinsing it out. Conditioner will take longer to rinse out as it is thicker and it's not as diluted as our shampoo. If your dog is panicking, it is really good to give them positive reassurance. And if you find that your dog is trying to escape the bath, you can get little lip mats or um, peanut butter and just put it on the side of the bath. And that way your dog's gonna be occupied as you do this. As most dogs, if they're not trained from a young age, will probably not enjoy this experience. Franklin has been washed since he was seven weeks old, I think. And I've been his only groomer as well, because he's my dog. <laughs> so to get this all out, I am just using the same techniques I was using to shampoo him by just running the clothes. You can actually feel the difference in textures on your hands as well. I 
always find with some beginners as well is if you don't lift up the collar, you'll have a bunch of residue in there. Once they're all rinsed, give it a nice little squeeze, and essentially you're just wringing out all of the excess water to make it easier for drying. And what you can do is you can just towel dry them, or you can use a high velocity dryer, a hair dryer, or just let them air dry. Depending on what dry you do, you should look at um, how to do that as well. Squeezing them as well is going to let you know that you have all the suds out and you're going to be able to see if there's any more sudsy areas. And that is how you wash a dog successfully. Mm. Thanks so much for watching.